let's start right here behind me you just walked in through this front door this is our future like little foyer we're gonna you know have coats here and we'll have shoes portrait of our dogs now let's move on to the living area slash kitchen welcome are you freaking kidding me guys are you seeing this no one should be sitting on the countertops, but I can't help it. I love to sit at the countertops. Should we begin in the kitchen or the living room? Let's start in the kitchen. We're already here. Welcome to our kitchen. These are marble countertops, I think. I don't know anything about the countertops. They're real stone. They're like marble or something, but they're so nice. And our appliances are so nice. Let me turn on the lights. The range, the stone choice, stove and the oven, chef's kiss. I love this sink. I was bougie before, but I'm even bougier now this is a ceramic sink it's a ceramic kohler sink i love this sink and rinse a little water there are no streaks no stains i will never not have a ceramic sink oh my gosh one thing we love about the kitchen is there's not an overload of cabinets i feel like cabinets and kitchens are so ugly and take up so much space we just have these two cabinets and that's enough for us and it would be kind of cool to have recessed lighting in the cabinet but like who am i do i need lighting in my cabinets yes this is my lunch these almond butter cups delicious okay we have a little dishwasher in here. It's tiny, but it's perfect for us. We are a family of two humans. We haven't even gotten our stuff from the movers yet, so we only have one fork and one spoon, but that's a different conversation. Next up, we have this good old LG fridge. We've got to change the filter on here, but yeah, we had a black fridge at our last home, so it's pretty nice to upgrade to these appliances. And by pretty nice, I mean, truly and literally amazing and i'm so grateful obviously we're going to decorate this whole space and there'll probably be like months worth of videos um in this center island we also have some cabinets of storage which will show you guys um okay let's move on to the living room we're gonna open up all of these windows right now it's gonna be super fun all the windows i'm walking away <laughs> One thing we could not stand about our last apartment in Los Angeles was how dark it is. I still can't even believe I'm standing here making this freaking video talking to you guys in these 23 foot ceilings standing on top of a couch. Like, I do not know what life is. I, I, is this real life? Is this really happening? Subscribe. I just want to let you guys know all the all these couches are Article and I would like to take this time to thank Article so much for sponsoring this video. I'm kidding. They didn't sponsor ship or couches and our bed frame is from Article, which I will show you later. I do want to thank article because they were really great with delivery we had delays getting into the unit they were just really great and responsive and wonderful to work with we have a fireplace here this building was built in 1901 and it used to be a factory and um you know we're gonna paint the unit won't look the same i'm not even gonna tell you what we're gonna do i'm not even gonna start there Hi, baby. <sighs> okay guys gotta get up i gotta show you guys the bedroom let's go Ready whenever you are, love. All right, we got the stunning fireplace behind me. And if you look straight ahead of me, our bedroom. Let's go there. Welcome to the bedroom. This is our little bedroom. I love it. I think it's like a hotel bedroom. It's very small, but it's very quaint. So look at this. I know this is strange. My mother, when she came over, she was like, is this your bedroom? But I think it's cute. We have the same tile in the back that we have in the kitchen. And, um, and then there is a sink. This originally was a wet bar, but basically we have decided to use this as our headboard. And then where you guys are right now, there will be a projector screen. This is our little bathroom and super nice. This is very, it's too low for me. Without shoes, I can see myself, but I've, I have any pair of shoes on. My head is cut off. Yumi, what are you doing in the bedroom? Naughty. We're gonna replace the mirror and this light one day. Nothing really to say about the shower. I wish there was a light in the shower. The shower is a bit dark, but I'm sure there's some kind of portable light that we can add there. Comment down below if you know any way that I could light up the shower. All right, in here we have a little closet. We plan to tear this wall out one day so that we can just extend the bedroom. And then now I'm gonna bring you into our laundry room the laundry room. Did you fix this? No, the light works. Did you, did, you, did you change the light bulb? How did it work all of a sudden? I'm not gonna touch it. Tim and I have not had a laundry machine without one of those large, like a washing machine without one of those large cylinders in the middle. This is just like an empty tub laundry machine so we can toss like a whole comforter in here and it actually fits, it's wonderful. And then we have a full size dryer. These things are huge, which works for us. Now let's head on upstairs. I love it. And look how cute these dog bowls are. Marshalls. 
Super cute, like $9.99. Now we're gonna head on upstairs. <laughs> All right, welcome to what is technically, I think, supposed to be the master bedroom and bathroom. But you're now entering our future office. We haven't even begun to start the process of decorating. I mean, this place is 1,600 square feet, so we have, we have a ways to go, you know what I'm saying? Look at the view of the unit from up here. All right, I really love the color of this bathroom. It's like this olive color. It's a nice olive color that they chose in here. This bathroom is not renovated. We will renovate this one day, not today. We have a tub and the craziest shower head I've, you've ever seen. Look at the shower head. So I did sit on a shelf in the closet. We just, we went down. I feel like this closet has a lot more potential, but we will figure it out. One day we will Ikea this whole closet. All right, last but not least to the third freaking level. Welcome to the third floor. All you have to do is climb on up this little ladder to be or not to be. So this is in effect our future studio. I have my Decentro knitting machine. We have our luggage, our empty luggage, drone, and y'all, we are coming to the end of this tour, but we got through this. I'd like to thank the universe. I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank God for making all of this possible. Amen. Shout out to my husband, the cameraman. I love you so much. Thank you for filming. Thank you for moving to Chicago with me. And I'm so excited for this next chapter of our life. <laughs> because I'm tired because I got my period today. I went to the gym this morning and I think I need to sit down for a second. Everybody, okay. Let's cut for a second. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> okay, cut. But someday. Mm, uh,